question is, is he well versed in the crazy first in Guard of War matchup? Yeah, no kidding. All right. Uh, did we're we bring lose a. Uh... Yeah, we did. We don't have our little. Oh, names no, up. It, it's a separate layout. It's supposed right. to fade in, but. Okay. Uh, we've been uh, using the names. stinger this time. All right. There we go. Everything's all set up. Loser semis. Round one. Oh. All right, let's see if uh, Utah can work. Oh, good counter there from Utah. Unfortunately, doesn't come out soon enough in order to punish. He's got that uh, drill Ooh. handy, but it didn't go all the way through the dazzling yep. here. Oh, tried to jump over with the JX, but unfortunately it wasn't fun enough. And not holding shield on wake up is just a death sentence against Garchomp. Absolutely. I mean, so is holding shield, but... Ooh, resets into the drill for maximum damage on his last phase shift point. Smart choice there for Coach C. All right, use oh, the forward Y. Use his stored power to get through the pocket fan. Okay, there we go. Good counter there from Utah. Able to get the full combo off of it, it looks like. Yep. Throwing out the psychic, but... Coach C is having none of that. Oh, but the oh. JY able to prevent a Molga from having its full effect. Oh, that was, nasty. that was an excellent comeback from Utah. Coming from a 20 health uh, total to all of that in one go. All right, he's in the sideways, able to catch Coach Steve. Just trying to outzone uh, Coach Steve out, and he manages to connect with the JY. All right, going out of the psychic, lots of block pressure. Oh, but the 6X gets punished hard. Excellent punish from Coach Steve, bringing him across the entire stage. Utah's having none of that mix up. Oh, but he still gets hit by the Emolga. That's gonna hurt because Gardevoir already struggles to move. Oh. And the, the, the future site saving him. Man, I'm getting uh, Leech Seed uh, flashbacks. Oh, oh no. using the burst attack. That's gonna hurt. But oh, doesn't get the full uh, animation, unfortunately. But that is going to do a lot of damage as that was a critical hit. Ooh, gets oh, two hits of side Y into the, into the board Y? Dang, that's impressive. All right, he's got burst of his own, and he is set to use it. Oh, dashes in with the grab. Utah's a brave man with these grabs, but Absolutely. they work. Yeah, I mean, if it works, why stop, you know? The other He's definitely got to keep as much distance Ooh, as possible. Oh, catches him with the sword power just barely, but not able to follow up, unfortunately. Okay, sidewise, we'll get around to Molga. Still not able to take him around just yet. Oh, able oh to counter God. through the like second hit of homing. Smart play there, smart counter. Charge it. All righty, Utah taking the first game. Let's see. Okay, it looks like Steve has wanted to change characters. Yeah, he's got to do Swapping something to different. Yep, he's going to the Weavile. I think this is a smart a choice. Much better matchup at the very least for Coach Steve yeah. now. With this, Utah will lose a bit of his Weavile muscle memory, and that's part of what he's counting on. Let's hope so. Let's let's hope that Steve, Coach Steve has thought of thought of that. <laughs> Like, I'm sure it's not the only reason, but it's got to be at least part of it. Come I on. I imagine that part of it is that Garchomp does do so much pressure and so much damage, but he just didn't have yeah. a chance. But Weavile's a really strong pressure character, too, especially with his, uh, you know, really tight block strings. Ooh, but Utah able to catch him with a 6x. Gets the full optimal. No fear out of Utah right now. Okay, Utah able to get past the ice. That's going to be big for him. Oh, yeah. And he's... All right. Counters. Oh, gets oh, punished. And the there, goes the, there goes the perfect. Utah no longer has burst available to him. Go Steve. Bringing him all the way across the stage to all bounce Fury Stripes. And half of his Swipes. HP there. Oh. Okay, able oh. to catch him with the side wipe just barely. All right, both players now have burst. Uh, Coach Steve picking Jirachi. Utah doing the same. Okay. Utah throwing out the energy ball. Coach Steve blocks it. Ooh. Very nice. Cancels the moon blast in order to grab. And, and stops him from getting that knockoff. Ooh, and the psychic able to prevent any punish for his, for his counter. And speaking of counters, there's another one. That's the full follow up once again into the stored, uh, stored power. He's definitely trying to, I mean, just go into Coach Steve's face. Never mind. He's trying to keep him out to avoid the uh, burst, but yep. 
homing and then the 6Y. Unfortunately, uh, his burst attack's not able to catch Utah deciding to CADC into a JY. I'm very fortunate. And he's lost his burst for that. Okay, good, good JX there. Resetting what's he gonna do? Declare burst, that's what he's gonna do. Okay, another homing. I don't know why uh, Coach uh, dropped that. And Utah and takes it 2-0 over Utah Coach. Utah takes it 2-0. He is now in top three. Yep. Which means we're going to be now watching losers finals between Utah and Twixie. Wait, are you serious? Is you losers finals already? Yeah. Oh, 